grads of uh, Finland Academy and uh, fellow traders uh, in the video series on the weekly update on the markets and uh, doing a sector analysis uh, on the sectorial indices uh, and we'll try to see trading opportunities uh, in uh, one stock. In this weekly update, uh, we will cover what happened uh, last week. As a trader, what you should expect going forward next week and prepare a trade plan accordingly based on the trend, the support resistance, the momentum and the levels. It will assist you and help you in making a trade plan. And what will be the outlook uh, going forward next week? And uh, we will see which are the sectors which performed this week, which are the sectors which outperformed this week, and which are the sectors which uh, underperformed this week. And at the end, we'll try to spot one trading opportunities uh, which uh, is available in uh, one of the leading uh, banking stock and is part of Nifty 50, uh, which is HDFC Bank. Now let's understand the price action and the uh, price behavior or how market performed on various time frame charts. So in the broad market uh, which is Nifty 50 we we'll start with the monthly charts. In the monthly charts uh, if you can see that the all time high in the index which was around 18,690 odd levels market has crossed this. Uh, we can say on an intra-week uh, basis and currently we are trading above that. So any market which breaks the all-time high signals a fresh up move but at the same time uh, it is also overbought in the short term. Now if I go to the weekly chart, in the weekly chart what we are seeing is a Prior to the break above the all time high, there was a consolidation uh, which is a base around this level which is 18,200. So that guides you as to where the near term swings if corrections are likely to be there. And even if you see on the month weekly charts, the swing is up. Till the swing is up which means the sequence of higher lows and higher highs intact. Uh, the underlying trend and the momentum for the markets are likely to be positive. For extreme short term, uh, let's see the weekly charts, the daily chart. On the daily time frame chart, what markets are doing is on its way up, it's going up, correcting, going up, correcting to the support levels, going up and correcting. Fine. So on the daily charts, what will be of uh, much significance to you as a trader is follow this channel on the daily chart as per your short term price movements uh, above around the lower end of the channel. And if I zoom this chart for upside around the upper end of the channel. So to conclude on the market side, uh, previously what we have seen is that uh, index, uh, the broad market Nifty has seen a breakout or a, a move above the all-time high and it's quite normal for the market to consolidate at or around those levels. Now let's understand uh, what to expect uh, in the next week of trading. Uh, today on a Friday you saw Nifty gapping down uh, but uh, the gap down so more of an intraday consolidation rather than some declines. So the two things which we are used over here is the first prominent is our Bollinger Band. Why we are using Bollinger Band is there has been a substantial rise in price. If you notice around the upper end of the band prices are overbought. So this market in the short terms look too stretched on the upside and once prices are in a confirmed uptrend uh, as a trader we follow the middle band and the upper band. 
Middle band is your 20 day moving average which is around 18,388. So this market in the near term is likely to trade between 18,800-900 levels on the upside and 18,400 odd levels on the downside. So any intra week declines during the day at or around the 20 DMA uh, is a support level for the markets because if we see throughout this upswing index has found support at or around the 200 DMA and then it has scaled new highs. So till this sequence of prices holding the 200 day moving average is not breached, uh, we are uh, looking for corrective declines towards the 20 day moving average uh, to enter long positions. Let's analyze the sectors uh, or uh, have a brief on sectors which uh, performed uh, during this week vis-a-vis -vis the bros market. So I have a price chart of Nifty and on the right the top performers uh, in the week looks like the FMCG and uh, FMCG had a strong run during the week. So if you see the index. Uh, It moved uh, up uh, which was followed by the FMCG stocks uh, like uh, Britannia or a lever. There was a strong rise in the FMCG during the week and you can see the upswing. Also metals performed well during this week. Metal also had a consolidation and during the week uh, they performed uh, well in line with the market or there was outperformance towards the uh, ending part of the week because last two days in which uh, Nifty closed in red, the metal index closed in green and also IT index had a strong outperformance vis-a-vis -vis the broad market. So the top sectors which were performing this week uh, were metals, FMCG and uh, IT index. And among the stocks which outperformed uh, uh, in the FMCG basket was Britannia and Hindustan Lever. Both had a strong rally uh, and a very uh, strong upswing which was more than percentage wise if you see uh, 5 plus percent so it was 7 odd percent. So among the sectors uh, this week uh, is the strength came from uh, the metals, the FMCG and the IT index wherein bank was more of a consolidation. So it was more of a performer. So going forward next week, uh, why do we look for outperformance of the strong? Because uh, when there is a corrective decline in the markets, the sectors which showed strength, uh, if they come to the support levels, they, they give you good opportunities on the long side. So this is from the sector perspective. In the stock uh, which we are covering this week is uh, HDFC Bank. There was a strong move in HDFC Bank. Post that, if you see for the last uh, one month, the stock is consolidating in a trading band and this trading band is very very compressed and narrow. So the band on the upside is any, uh, around 1640 levels and on the downside it is around 1580 levels. So the Rational or the logic is that whenever you have a stock post and up move, uh, it goes into a consolidation. We as a trader sit out on the sideline, which means that let the consolidation either resolve in favor of buyers or resolve in favor of sellers. So here uh, we will be looking for long opportunities on break above the 1650 levels on the upside. I'll show it by the price highlight which is 1637 and on the downside it is 1587. 
A breakout past the immediate consolidation band around 1637 should see one more sharp up move uh, towards the all time high in HDFC Bank. So, for traders, uh, the breakout from the trading band is your entry and uh, your projected levels on the upside can be the all time high. Your risk management levels will be the last base uh, around 1587 levels. So that was the outlook on HDFC Bank in stock in the week.